Hey team, Stuart here, welcome back. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use Google Hangouts. Now, Google Hangouts is a free, easy to use communication software and tool that allows you to run online video conferences, calls, and group chats. Recently, we've had a lot of positive response from our Zoom tutorial, and many of you have requested a tutorial for Google Hangouts, which is essentially an alternative to the video conferencing and communication tools like Zoom, Skype, GoToMeeting, and others. Tools like these are more important now than ever before due to the current global pandemic. Now, before we dive into Google Hangouts, feel free to subscribe to this channel and tap the bell icon, and that way you'll stay updated with new and practical videos designed to help your small and local business thrive online. All right, that said, let's get started with Google Hangouts. Now, one of the best features of Google Hangouts is you do not need to install anything onto your computer, although you do have the option to install the Chrome extension onto your browser, and you also have the option to download the app onto your phone for iOS and Android. Now, Google Hangouts has three core features, which include messaging, voice calls, and video calls. With messaging, you can chat one-on-one -on -one or have a group chat with up to 100 people. You can call through to anyone's phone number internationally using Google Hangouts, and with this free standard version of Hangouts, you can call up to 10 people at a time. And no matter what device you or your contacts have, you can communicate and sync across all these devices. All right, with that covered, let's dive into Google Hangouts. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to sign up or sign in to your Gmail account. Now, if you don't already have one, it's free to sign up. So once you've signed up and you've jumped into your Gmail backend or your inbox, here is where we can access Google Hangouts. So what we need to do is head over to the right-hand side of our screen and click on Google Apps. Now this is where you're gonna find all your Google Apps that you can basically use for free with your Gmail. Now if we pop down, you should be able to see Hangouts. And if we click on Hangouts, that's gonna bring up the Google Hangouts dashboard. And here we are. Now before we go through the three main elements and features to Google Hangouts, if we pop back to our Gmail account, if we come down to the left hand side, this is where we can also access our Google Hangouts and our conversations. So if we click on Hangouts contacts, that's going to pop up with some of our contacts. If we pop over to conversations, this is some of our recent conversations we've had. And if I click on the chat here, the little chat box is gonna pop up here. And with this chat, you can video call this individual, you can add more people to this chat, or you can call through to this individual's phone number. So as you can see, because they're my contact, I have their phone number, their mobile number, and I can call directly to their phone number. I also have the option down here to send emojis, I can write a message back, and I can add media. And here you can upload media. So we'll cancel out of that, and then if we pop down here to the phone calls, and here you can put in one of your contacts names, and it's gonna pop up with their number, as you can see down there, or you can pop in someone's phone number and you can make a call directly to their phone. Now, depending where you're located around the world, if you're in Canada or the US, it's free to call uh, between the two countries. It tends to be free to call between those two countries. However, if you're making international calls, that can cost. So if we pop over to calling rates, here you can see the different calling rates. So if you just pop in this URL, you'll be able to see all the different rates per minute in US dollars, okay, to all these different countries. You can also type in the country up here and locate the country which you want to call through to. And you can see the rates per minute on the right hand side. So now let's head back to our Gmail account. And like I said, this is where you can initiate conversations, you can look at your contacts, and you can make phone calls directly to your contacts. So it's really good that Google Hangouts is integrated with your Gmail account. Now you can also access Google Hangouts and make a call, start a chat, start a video call with multiple people through the mobile apps for Android and iOS. So if you like, you can download the apps onto your phones and you can start using Google Hangouts through your device. And that's a quick run through on how to use Google Hangouts from your Gmail dashboard. So if we open up the Google Hangouts dashboard, remember all we need to do is head over to our apps and click on Hangouts. 
So again, at our Google Hangouts dashboard, what we can do is we can access video calls here, phone calls, and messages. So if we pop over to the left-hand side, this is where we can start a new conversation. So if I click New Conversation, I can enter a name of the contacts, email, or phone number, and initiate the conversation. Now, if I enter a name here, and if it's someone that doesn't already have Google Hangouts, and I want to engage with them, so for example, if I click this person, as you can see, this is my mum's email. She does not have Google Hangouts activated. So I can leave a message here and send the invite. Then she just needs to accept that invite from her email and then she can start interacting with me and she can start using Google Hangouts. So I'll exit out of that one. However, if I already have a contact that's on my Gmail, for example, this individual here, I can then see all their information on the right hand side. That's just gonna automatically pop up. Now, if I click on this individual, I can start chatting with them on the right hand side. So similar to the Gmail dashboard, as you can see, I can call this individual. I can create a group to chat with, with up to 100 people, or I could call through to Dave's mobile number. I can start a conversation down here, I can add emojis, and I can also add media. Again, this is very similar to the Gmail dashboard. However, we've just opened it up into its own Google Hangouts uh, interface. And like I said before, you can initiate a video call just by clicking this little icon here. Now, what I wanna do is show you an example of a video call. So you can click here, and then the video is gonna pop up and you can add participants that way. Or what you can do is head over to your chat. Maybe you've got a group chat, or you wanna start a group chat, you can do that here. What I'm gonna do is show you an example of a video call. So I'm gonna click on my other email. So Stuart Gould, this is a different email. This is just for tutorial purposes. As you can see, I've started to chat with myself. I sent media to myself. Now, I promise I'm not crazy. This is just a tutorial. Um, so I'm gonna video call myself just for a basic demonstration. So if I wanna call this individual, I'm gonna come up here and click this icon. So start a video call. So I'm gonna click here. So as you can see, I've just connected to my other device. Now on the right hand side, the screen I'm looking at right now, this is actually a phone. So I've connected to a phone. And that's the great thing. You can integrate Google Hangouts with other devices. You can download the app and you can access video calls, chats and phone calls through your phone, through your device. So it's a fantastic, simple communication tool. Now, if we come down here, we can mute ourselves, we can end the call, or we can turn off our video. Now, if we pop up to the right-hand corner, you can actually add other participants here. So, if I click Add, you can enter their email or copy the link and send that to a participant, and they can join this video. So, for now, we'll leave it as myself and myself <laughs> as a demonstration. So, we'll exit out of that. And then if we pop over to settings, here you can test external microphones or speakers. So we'll exit out of that one. And if we pop over to the far right, you can see the three icons. If you click on that, you can actually screen share. So if you click that, you can choose the screen you want to share. You can go into a full screen and you can start a chat. So for example, come down here, we'll get out of that. You can start a chat with that individual. Hi and that's going to get sent to everyone within the chat. And those are essentially all the basic features that you get with the video calling within Google Hangouts. Now it's quite streamlined and simple, great for first time users, uh, those that don't want to download a program onto their computer. It's a great way to interact with up to 10 people, uh, video call up to 10 people. However, if you want a program that has more features with regards to the video calling capabilities, then I recommend using Zoom. Now, Zoom is a fantastic video conferencing software that's ideal for uh, small businesses to large enterprises that are looking for a program that has more features and more capabilities with regards to the video calling. So check out Zoom. I created a tutorial last week about how to use Zoom for video conferencing. So I'll leave a link up above and that will take you to that streamlined video. But again, Google Hangouts is a great option for quick, easy and simple video conferencing. So with that said, we'll exit out of this call. So I'll click end call. And as you can see, that call has just ended. So what we'll do is we'll exit out of that. If we pop down to the three little dots here, this just gives us more options. So we can look at our contacts here, we can start a conversation, phone calls, uh, we can invite people to 
join Google Hangouts so we can start a conversation with them. We can also download the apps on Android, iOS and Chrome. And like I said before, if you're looking for a more suitable uh, video conferencing tool or software, then I recommend checking out Zoom. It's not for everyone. Google Hangouts might be a better option for your requirements, but Zoom is a more powerful video calling software. And one last thing, if you have a G Suite account, you also have access to the more premium version of Google Hangouts called Google Hangouts Meet. Now, what this is, is essentially a more advanced business video conferencing tool. There are more advanced features, improved video conferencing experience. So Google Hangouts Meet is a paid version. So what we recommend is give Google Hangouts a go. See if that meets your video conferencing requirements. If it doesn't, then give Zoom a go. Again, I link that up above the tutorial on how to use Zoom. And if you would like, give Meet a go. If you have a G Suite account, if you're part of an organization, then you should be able to access Google Hangouts Meet, which is just another alternative for video conferencing and communication. And that is it for today's tutorial. I hope you now have a better idea of how to use Google Hangouts for your communication requirements. Now, let me know in the comments down below which is your preferred video conferencing and communication software as there are so many great options available online today. And with that said, thank you for watching. If you got value out of this video, make sure you smash the thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.